hello <laughs> I absolutely had to get a quick video of this I actually made it work <laughs> I've been struggling and struggling and struggling with this thing I finally got it figured out pretty much how to make it work one thing about this that's different <laughs> I'm actually using an LED for the emitter it's just a plain bright white LED and the other one is a detector small one and it's actually working quite well and I'm using a little uh, tiny I don't know if you see it up there, with a little tiny solenoid coil. It's just a coil off the solenoid that I've had around here. I tried this one here too, wherever it be, it works too. Anyway, I just wanted to do that real quick to show you <laughs> that all my efforts weren't in vain. They seemed like they were. I burned out transistors and I burned out the, the infrared detectors and emitters and uh, the only reason I tried that LED is because I didn't have any more light emitting diodes, uh, uh, the infrared ones. So I decided to try try it, and it works really good. This is uh, not the quick and dirty. It's uh, this one here. You can read it here. It's a replica, a bit more simple electronic levitation. And uh, you can see his name there. He's the guy that did this replication of lip motors. I tried and tried to do lip motors, and I couldn't get it to work. And, and but now that I know as much as I do now, and I got this one to work, I'm sure I could get it to work, with no problem at all. Now, <laughs> I ordered some uh, 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 infrared emitters. I'll be getting them. Hopefully, it'll work better then. I finally got it figured out. I got a pretty good sized mangan on top there out of a microwave and to give me the boost I need to hold that up there. And I just got a little mangan on top of that screw. You see there. And it works great. Well, I just wanted to show you this real quick. <laughs> I can't, can't believe that I actually made it work. Made me feel pretty darn good. Okay. Thank you for watching.